Hey, what's up everybody? I decided to come up with a video about the situation we have right now because we have a lot of questions from people who are interested at buying our equipment and also who already purchased something and waits for the shipping. So this is important to know and uh, let's get started. Firstly, we have questions about are you able actually to receive payments because uh, we heard that you blocked uh, with SWIFT and all the banks are not able to work internationally. Uh, that's uh, actually kind of false information. Uh, only seven banks here in Russia are blocked, maybe 10 of them, but we have 300, yeah. And also we have an international bank which is, uh, easily gets paid from the PayPal and from eBay by um, making payments through the Pioneer, which is a payment system installed to the eBay system. And yeah, we easily receive payments in any country in the world. That's a good point to know. Then, very important question we got, am I still able to get package from you guys? Because I heard that DHL doesn't work with Russia anymore, that post offices does not work with the Russia also. And this is also false information. We not able to get packages here in Russia from Europe and United States and, and some other countries, but we easily can ship them. And we shipping them right now by DHL every day. And we get notification that our packages deliver at the fine uh, range of time, actually, yeah. So you probably heard that Russia is closed. We don't have any airplanes, aircraft through their Russian land. Yeah, that's true. But other countries are able to fly over the Russia, for example, Chinese, uh, then Indian, Saudi Arabia and other Eastern countries easily fly and land in our airports. So what does DHL and post uh, does during this time they take the package uh, fly to the moscow or drive it on the train doesn't matter and then from the moscow it flies to saudi arabia bahrain other eastern countries where it's got relocated to other ship yeah and then it flies to the germany and from germany it flies to any country in the world doesn't matter australia new zealand all European countries except Ukraine and Belarus and the United States and Canada. So actually for the small business uh, like ours, there's no uh, huge problems, absolutely. The only one problem we have is the price rise on the stainless steel because we global, uh, also price rise of oil and other stuff, which does affect on the shipping and other stuff. It, it does affect on the stainless steel, so prices got a little higher on our website uh, for the Russian people and for the international guys, that's true. The also good news that if you're willing actually to buy our equipment, uh, price for the shipping is got lower because of the weak Russian ruble. Every year we sign an agreement of prices of shipping by DHL uh, in Russian rubles, so Right now, uh, due to a weak ruble and pretty strong USD, uh, all packages to United States, Australia and other countries got cheaper for about 20 to 40 percent. So it's a huge economy on the shipping in case you were wondering about buying our stuff. Uh, that's it for today. Actually, I don't want to talk about the situation we have uh, right now because uh, it's not a political channel, we just sell and show our equipment and make it for the people of all of the world. And yeah, if you want to ask anything, our email is always open. We manage it in the evening of uh, time here in Russia. So Sergey, international sales manager, or me will be able to answer you. Feel free to write us in case you have anything to ask, anything about equipment, anything interested about the stuff that is going on here in Russia at this period of time. So yeah, that's it for today. Happy distilling!